Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Sarah back again with another video. And in this week's video, as you probably could tell by the title of the video, whether it's here or here, uh, my Hollow Taco, or yeah, the, it's called Hollow Taco package, just came in the mail. And uh, it looks like this. It's Hollow, if you can't, I like by the logo because, you know, phone camera quality. But. So basically what I'm going to do in this video is I'm basically going to, you know, do a little like, um, does it qualify as a swatch test? I mean, like, it's not makeup, but it's still cosmetics of sorts, so I'm like testing to see, the yeah, we're doing a swatch test, um, but on my actual hands, I mean, nails. So in order to do that, I'm going to have to switch from my front camera to my back camera so you can see what's here. So here we have it, and uh, oh, let me turn on f the flash. There we go, now we can see it in its hollow beauty. Let's open it up one more time, and can you see the beauty of this hole? <sighs> anyway, so I have taken some time to grow out my natural nails and not wear acrylics for some time, and it's, I can say that, like fairly say that it's grown a little bit, so I can maybe put nail polish on it, but, now that I think about it, I actually kind of want to keep my nails bare still. So, we are going to do the test on some fake nails. So, the first color that I'm going to be... This will open. Oop. The first one that I'm going to be going into is... What's it called? Play Rosé, which is this, like... I guess you could say, like, if you're a long fan of Christine, it's basically um, her old nail polish, Xyler the Cat. Um repackaged uh, basically so here's a real close-up of the polish so you can yeah oh okay so I put kind of like a weak little base on because I kind of like with normal polishes I like you know like go like like this so I guess I shouldn't with this one so I'm just gonna like put a ton on there oh Wait, let me just add a little. Oh my god, are you seeing this beauty here? Like, it adds, like, the nicest amount of tint, but also hollow. Like, you can see, like, on the back here, like, it's, like, it literally, like... Like, if you were to wear your natural nails, like, with this with your natural nails, it'll show, like, a nice little tint on your natural nail. Or if you were to get, like, you know, like, um, acrylics, but that kind of have, like, a clear base like this, then it's basically just going to look like that. And honestly, I I am really loving that. Now we're going to go in with the polish, this blue polish called Frost Light, which is, like, this baby blue kind of thing. And uh, let's just try and open the packaging without, like, actually destroying it. All right, there we have it. Ooh. All right, now let's open this one up. And Oh, my God. All right, swatch test time. Oh, wait, like, I forgot. I need to, like, add a ton. All right. Ooh, oh my god. I This is like the perfect amount of like hollow, but also like a light tint that I've ever wanted in a polish. I'm overwhelmed here. Like, I'm already obsessed with the, like the way that these two applied. I don't even, there's no words to express it. Now on to the next polish, which is in the shade Rainbow Snow, which is basically just um, a dense hollow polish. The reason why I say dense, because she's had hollow polishes before more hollow tacos, but they were like, you know, like, not as full packed with glitter. But this, oh, you can tell it's, it's going to pack up. It has like a ton of glitters in it. Like, oh, okay. 
y'all ain't ready for this. Like, neither am I, but like, I, I barely even put on and I'm already like in love with this. <gasps> oh my god. This is literally the hollow um silver hollow polish of my absolute dreams. Look at how opaque that goes on. Now now on to our next polish, which is called Party Punch, which in her video made it look like it was like a um, neon red, but it's actually more of a neon pink once you actually get it in the like for yourself. Or even in my camera quality is showing it's more of like a neon pink. Hey, finally, one good thing iPhone camera quality is doing is it's showing you the actual color and not over-exaggerating it like some cameras would. Alright, so this is kind of like, oh my god. Okay, so I'm not a big fan of pink, but literally just this hollow polish is making me turn into Sharpay Evans. Alright, now time for our swatch test, which, oh my, is already blowing my mind away. Sorry, I am not in frame. Because I'm like trying to paint it on properly, but also be in frame, and that's kind of difficult with my tiny table. But oh my <gasps> it literally I don't know how to explain what this looks like okay it's basically as if you were to get like um acrylics with a clear base but instead of just like an actual clear base it's a pink clear base and then you were to put um linear hollow taco on top of it and that's basically what this looks like with just one coat one coat brings all of this beauty out. I'm excited to see what it'll look like if I put two coats on these. Or even three coats. Or four coats. Oh my god. <gasps> Makes hollow, um, hollow taco nail polish mountain. Oh my god. I'm not about to like waste my beautiful polish on that because I don't have money to buy more. But someone who has money, do it. Do it now. Alright, now on to our last polish which is Midnight Spark, which is basically this uh, dark blue holographic polish. Basically, this, this shade of blue literally looks like the shade of blue that my car is. And I, to be honest, I don't like the shade of my car. Um, but maybe, maybe like this polish will change my mind about just this color in general. Because like, this isn't my favorite shade of blue. I like more pastel blues or turquoises or like, you know... I guess you could say more of on like seafoam green type of look too. Dar this dark one, like yeah, perfect for my emo days, but most of the time. But I mean, you know, may maybe maybe it'll uh, change my mind. Like maybe this particular polish, what, why won't it open? Oh my God. All right, I finally got it. But like I was saying, maybe this polish will change my mind on this color. Ooh, okay. So on camera, you're not really seeing the hollow unless I zoom in. Ooh, okay. So it's not as hollow packed as the rest. Like you can clearly see there's some basic, some basic um, glitters in there, but also some hollow. So let's see how this one performs. I'm debating. Yeah, I'm going to put on this side to match with like the fact that there's already a blue here. So let's go into it. Ooh. I'm just going to stay silent for all this because, you know, since it's not my absolute favorite color, I have no, no nothing to really comment on how shook I am about it, but enjoy my background music. Um... I put that on terribly in person, but on camera, that looks just fine. So, you know what? We're going to roll with it. And, um, uh, I don't know. In my opinion, it's kind of underwhelming. Like, I feel like I already have a bias just because I don't like this shade of blue. And now the fact that it's not, like, blindingly hollow like the rest of them, it's also just making me also... Oop, I got some on underneath my nail, but it's also just making me even more like not really liking this 
polish too much. But I will say it's perfect for the type of person who uh, still wants a bold color with a slight, uh, some glitter, but doesn't want it to be too bold because, you know, they have a professional lifestyle. So, like, the rest of the polishes are perfect for me. And then this one, this blue one, is per good for more of the, you know, uh, office worker type of person who doesn't really have the office environment of, like, where you can wear crazy colors like these, but you have to keep it normal. So before I decide what my final verdict of my favorite uh, polish is, I'm going to try painting them on my other hand. I was trying to make a Chris simply nail logical joke, um, but that I just made it cringy, and I also just realized I actually have my nails painted on this hand. So we're going we're going back with my uh, this hand. Now, just based off of these tests, I can already say that my favorite ones are these three. So that's basically what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do like, you know, like a silver, um, an orange, or no, no, I'm gonna do like a uh, blue, silver, orange, blue, silver type of look. You know what, lol, jokes, no. I'm actually only gonna go in with the silver and the um, orange or rosé, if that's like, since it's called like, play rosé. Um, I'm gonna basically just use these two on my nails and then make my final verdict as to which one is my ultimate favorite from the collection. So I'm gonna include a time lapse of me painting my nails with these polishes so you can see the process but not also have it make the video be way too long. So I've put the polish on this hand and I've put a top coat on it and I've officially made my final decision. While short, uh, this one performs really nicely and there's like a lot of hollow on there, the look could easily be replicated by a top coat and then dousing your nail in glitter and then some top coats. Sure, the quality won't be the same as, you know, this is, but the look can be recreated. But this... Uh, Play Rosé, this polish is something that I've never seen on the market before and have never been able to DIY myself on my nails. And honestly, it's a quite a unique polish that I am in love with and this is officially my number one uh, favorite polish from the collection. This goes for um, number two. And then third place goes this blue one. Fifth place goes this pink one. Then last place goes this to this dark blue one. So that'll conclude this week's video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up because that will really mean a lot. And if you enjoy more content like this that's about makeup or nails, this is going to be a rare nail video, but mostly about makeup or just cosmetics in general, subscribe. Um, so you can and also turn on the bell notification so you can get notified every time I upload so you never miss a makeup video and Before I go I have an announcement that I make in every single one of my videos towards the end of the video I am trying to get reviewed by YouTube to become a YouTube creator and to get my videos monetized so if you really want to help me out Share this video with some people that you think might like it and also just share other videos of mine that you think people might like and share my channel out, like get my name out there so then I can get my view count higher and then the people who watch my videos, if they like it, they can subscribe and I can have a ton more subscribers and then once YouTube sees those numbers on my YouTube channel, they can review it and hopefully I become a creator, an official YouTube creator. But like I say in every single video, if that doesn't ever happen, this is all just a hobby anyways. I'm still going to continue on regardless of if I get mo my videos monetized or not. So, regardless, you're still going to get videos every week. Or, depending on my mood, every day or three times a year. That is why it's especially important to turn on bell notifications on because you'll never know what my mood will be when and when what like what my mood will be when and you'll never know when I'll upload like I don't have an official set schedule so if you have bell notifications on and YouTube decides to be inconvenient uh, not inconvenient convenient and actually give you notifications to my videos then you know you'll be able to see them 
without having to, you know, actually go and search for my channel first. Anyways, without further ado, that was the longest outro I think I've ever done. That'll be it for this week's video, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!